I didn't know about that enormous crater that's in um, Antarctica. Now, the Twits Glacier in West Antarctica is the world's widest glacier. So much so that it's about the size of Florida. The world's top billionaires are meeting secretly in the deep frozen lands and tall, singing icy mountains. Antarctica has drawn attention to itself again, and this time it is raising so many questions that are challenging our understanding of politics, technology, and what it means to even be human. What secrets are buried under Antarctica's ice? And why do the most powerful people want to find them? Or are they just after more money? Join us as we uncover why billionaires are meeting in Antarctica's frozen wasteland. Intriguing Mysteries of the Antarctic Antarctica is a realm of extremes, with nearly 98% of its terrain concealed beneath a three-mile-thick ice sheet. Even a mountain as colossal as Japan's Mount Fuji, standing at 12,400 feet, remains hidden beneath its icy veil. With temperatures plummeting below minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit and winds reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, Antarctica stands as a testament to nature's ferocity. During its peak season, it accommodates a mere 4,000 scientists and military personnel, rendering it the ultimate frontier. Laden with intrigue, evokes images of uncharted territories marked with the warning, here be monsters. Despite its discovery almost 250 years ago, Antarctica remains a puzzle to scientists, its true nature shrouded in mystery. The sheer thickness of its ice cover obscures the surface from view, prompting ancient astronaut theorists to speculate that more than just geological features are concealed. They posit the existence of extensive human and possibly non-human activities occurring clandestinely in Antarctica. Antarctica is a breeding ground for mystery, and it's had its fair share of conspiracy theories over the years. From elongated skulls and strange pyramids to alien spaceships, bizarre structures and a giant staircase, many people believe that Antarctica once housed extraterrestrial life. Antarctica is peculiar for its restrictions on accessing its interior, where extensive scientific research is conducted at the South Pole. Contrary to this serious scientific endeavor, there exists a burgeoning tourism industry in Antarctica. Its icy landscapes have perpetually intrigued not only scientists and explorers, but also conspiracy theorists, who speculate about clandestine activities in the region. Central to this speculation is the notion that ancient civilizations, akin to legendary tales of Atlantis or Lemuria, may have thrived or still survive beneath the continent's icy expanse. Legend suggests that the lost city of Atlantis lies beneath kilometers of ice, flourishing during Antarctica's warm, tropical past and becoming buried as the Ice Age gripped the continent. While it's plausible that a civilization once thrived there, there's no conclusive evidence linking Antarctica to the mythical city. Some theories even propose that Nazis used underground Antarctica as a secret refuge, with speculations that Hitler sought sanctuary there post-war due to his fascination with the occult. Despite the theories debunking, speculation persists about the mysteries concealed beneath Antarctica's icy surface. Of particular interest is Antarctica's appearance on ancient maps, notably the Piri race map from 1513, which remarkably outlines its coastline centuries before its official discovery in 1820. Although the first confirmed sighting of Antarctica didn't occur until 1820, there are suggestions that Turkish cartographer Hagi Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri, also known as Piri Reis, may have included Antarctica on a map in the early 1500s. However, the accuracy of this claim is uncertain, raising questions about how Piri could have depicted a continent that remained undiscovered for over three centuries. The exact birth date of Piri Reis is unknown, but he was born between 1465 and 1450 in Gallipoli, then part of the Ottoman Empire. He learned navigation and sailing from his uncle Kemal Reis, and in 1494, he officially joined the Ottoman Navy as a commander, participating in conflicts with Venice. After his uncle died in 1511, Piri returned to Gallipoli and began creating maps, earning a reputation as a skilled mapmaker. 
Piri Race's most famous work is the 1513 World Map and the Book of Navigation, which are highly regarded for their early maritime navigation techniques. The 1513 World Map, discovered in 1929, is considered one of the oldest maps of America. Despite the map's significance, the inclusion of Antarctica remains a mystery given its remote and unexplored nature at the time. This discrepancy raises questions about the existence of advanced seafarers who possessed knowledge of Antarctica's existence long before modern exploration. Moreover, various anomalies and unexplained phenomena in Antarctica, captured through satellite imagery, further fuel speculation about the presence of secret bases or remnants of ancient civilizations. These images occasionally reveal perplexing patterns and structures that defy conventional explanations, hinting at potential human or even extraterrestrial activity. Adding to the intrigue are historical records of Germany's expeditions to Antarctica, particularly to the region known as Neuschwabenland. While officially touted as exploratory missions, some speculate that these expeditions were cover-ups for establishing secret bases or making contact with extraterrestrial technology. So far in Antarctica, ancient maps have shown up before anyone found them, and satellite pictures show strange shapes and designs all over the icy land with claims of secret places, non-humans, and even old cities buried under the ice. You just know there's a lot more to discover. So what else could be hiding in Antarctica? Let's dig in and see what we find in this frozen world of mysteries. Top secret missions and revelatory finds. One of the most frequently cited pieces of evidence by conspiracy theorists revolves around Operation High Jump, overseen by Admiral Richard E. Byrd from 1946 to 1947. This operation, officially designated by the U.S. Navy to establish research bases, begs the question, why such keen interest in the farthest reaches of the world where nobody resides? Antarctica stands as arguably the most valuable and significant place left on Earth for scientific exploration. However, there exists a faction that suspects a clandestine motive behind Operation High Jump, positing it as an undercover endeavor to probe alleged alien installations or ancient remnants concealed beneath the ice. While Operation High Jump aimed to establish the research base known as Little America 4, its substantial military involvement has fueled speculation regarding ulterior objectives. Particularly intriguing are purported diary entries and interviews attributed to Byrd, wherein he alluded to encounters with remarkably swift airborne phenomena, suggesting a non-human origin. These accounts serve as fodder for theories proposing that Byrd's expeditions stumbled upon evidence of an extraterrestrial presence or even prehistoric advanced technology hidden beneath Antarctica's frozen expanse, possibly linked to covert German installations or lost civilizations. The confluence of factors including the American political landscape, competing territorial claims, and deteriorating Soviet-American relations presented an opportune moment for the United States Navy to significantly expand its activities in polar regions. This expansion served both strategic and exploratory purposes, as it was deemed imperative for America to swiftly and effectively acclimatize its personnel, vessels, and equipment to the rigors of polar regions. In the autumn and winter of 1945 to 1946, an operation was undertaken to assess the viability of deploying a substantial naval presence in polar conditions. Subsequently, in the summer of 1946, Operation Nanook, led by Captain Richard Cruzen, was initiated. The subsequent phase of this initiative aimed to establish weather observation and reporting stations in the Canadian Arctic and Greenland. However, this operation extended beyond mere station construction. The task force comprised two Navy AK transports, specially outfitted for sub-zero operations, equipped to construct the designated stations. Additionally, the seaplane tender USS Norton Sound, accompanied by two PBM seaplanes, was part of the task force. The submarine Atule conducted tests and operations beneath the ice in Baffin Bay and beyond, while the wooden-hulled net tender Whitewood served as a survey vessel. Further bolstering the operation, the Coast Guard icebreaker Northwind provided escort and navigation assistance through the ice fields north of the Arctic Circle. Notably, 
The North Wind carried an HNS helicopter piloted by Coast Guard aviation pilot 1C John Olson, foreshadowing future developments in polar operations. Adding complexity to these narratives are testimonies from whistleblowers who claim to have witnessed extraordinary occurrences during their time in Antarctica. Reports of anomalous low-frequency activities, clandestine agreements with enigmatic entities, and encounters with advanced subterranean facilities and spacecraft boasting designs beyond human capability have emerged. Some even allege direct interaction with extraterrestrial beings, depicting these encounters as either benign exchanges of knowledge or enigmatic observations with unclear motives. Speculation abounds regarding possible extraterrestrial involvement in Antarctica, with rumors persisting for years. If these accounts hold any truth, could an extraterrestrial presence have dwelled in Antarctica for centuries or even millennia? In July 2018, Linda Moulton Howe interviewed a whistleblower who, under the condition of anonymity, disclosed classified information about Antarctica. The source, identified as Spartan One, a retired Navy SEAL, recounted his encounter with an ancient structure during his time at the South Pole. Spartan One described a massive octagonal structure emerging from the ice, which he and his team cautiously entered. Despite its substantial doors, some up to 30 feet thick, they opened effortlessly with the touch of a finger, revealing an unexpected warmth within. Within these enigmatic structures, Spartan One reported an eerie lime-green illumination and walls adorned with unfamiliar hieroglyphics. Could these structures be remnants of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, concealed beneath Antarctica's icy surface? Hidden beneath the Antarctic ice, ancient temple-like structures and potential biological remnants could represent a profound revelation in human history. Accusations of governmental suppression of these accounts or the imposition of restrictions on Antarctic access further heighten the intrigue, hinting at a potential cover-up of monumental proportions. The fact that certain regions of Antarctica remain off-limits adds weight to suspicions of clandestine operations. Beyond individual testimonies lie broader theories suggesting Antarctica might serve as a nexus for secret space program initiatives and collaborations between humans and extraterrestrial entities. Whistleblowers and theorists alike speculate that the continent's isolation renders it an ideal setting for covert endeavors shielded from public scrutiny. Tales abound of expeditions unearthing ancient relics and technologies, hinting at a narrative of Earth's history entwined with interactions with advanced extraterrestrial civilizations predating recorded human history. All-consuming pursuit of power and control. A compelling theory posits that Antarctica holds more than its icy exterior suggests. It may harbor a cache of undiscovered technology and mystical artifacts. This theory exploits the allure of the unknown, proposing that billionaires— driven by the pursuit of groundbreaking discoveries, are funding expeditions aimed at unveiling secrets concealed beneath the ice. Imagine ancient alien technology lying dormant beneath vast ice sheets, alongside artifacts and machinery from civilizations beyond our own. The potential implications of such discoveries are staggering, with the capacity to revolutionize our comprehension of energy, propulsion, and technology. European and Japanese teams, known as Samba, along with a United States team, ANSMET, regularly embark on expeditions to Antarctica to systematically search for meteorites. Upon discovery, these rocks are typically preserved in a frozen state and transported back to laboratories for extensive analysis. In early 2013, the Samba team unearthed an 18 kg meteorite, marking it as the largest find in East Antarctica in the past 25 years. Since 1976, the American-led ANSMET program has conducted expeditions, with specimens they uncover sent to NASA's Johnson Space Center for detailed scientific examination. While many of the meteorites recovered are ordinary chondrites, even these well-known rocks can yield significant scientific insights. The international research community has the opportunity to request fragments from various meteorites for their studies. Each meteorite discovered in Antarctica is meticulously documented, with its discovery location pinpointed using GPS coordinates. Despite hundreds of meteorites being recovered from the ice sheets annually, 
There remains a desire within the scientific community for more specimens to enhance our understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system. The teams involved in meteorite recovery encounter numerous physical challenges, albeit fewer than those faced during space missions. Essentially, they conduct sample return missions without ever leaving Earth's surface. Furthermore, consider the tantalizing prospect of unearthing mystical artifacts with profound historical significance, such as the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail, concealed far from mainstream scrutiny. This proposal extends to the establishment of clandestine underground bases in Antarctica, complete with opulent bunkers designed to shield the elite from global catastrophes. These facilities would boast comprehensive amenities for self-sufficiency and advanced research, including cutting-edge laboratories dedicated to the study of alien technology and ancient artifacts. Antarctica's extreme remoteness, harsh climate, and status as Earth's last uncharted frontier make it uniquely enticing for such covert endeavors. The Antarctic Treaty System, which prohibits military activities while promoting scientific cooperation, presents a legal loophole for those with the resources and influence to exploit it. Reports of geological anomalies and enigmatic structures in Antarctica, such as pyramid-like formations reminiscent of ancient civilizations, ignite speculation about extraterrestrial contact or advanced civilizations predating our own. Additionally, theories regarding entrances to the inner Earth in Antarctica suggest the existence of vast cavern systems capable of sustaining life, further enhancing the continent's mystique. Unexplained energy signatures detected in Antarctica fuel speculation about alien technology and covert investigations disguised as scientific missions. Whispers circulate about clandestine encounters between billionaires and extraterrestrial beings in Antarctica, with hints of technology exchange and discussions on interstellar travel. The prospect of wielding unparalleled economic and military power through the control of alien technology raises concerns about global governance and the emergence of a new world order. Antarctica could potentially serve not only as a rendezvous point with aliens, but also as the nerve center for a global elite intent on shaping world affairs away from public scrutiny. Revealing Antarctica's Dark Past No matter where you reside, Crime is inevitable to some extent. Even in Antarctica, though crime is rare due to the lack of use for money, the isolated and harsh environment can lead to unexpected behavior. According to psychologists like Peter Saudfeld, living in Antarctic research stations can be extremely stressful, potentially causing individuals to act out in ways they normally wouldn't. Antarctic stations are often dull places with minimal amenities, designed more for cost efficiency than comfort. The extreme weather makes it difficult to venture outside, leading to cabin fever and tension among residents. Incidents like a fight over a game of chess in 1959 at the Vostok Research Center highlight how isolation can escalate conflicts. The dispute at the Vostok station between two scientists during a chess game resulted in one attacking the other with an ice axe after losing. While some sources classify this incident as murder, Others indicate that the attack was not fatal. Following this event, chess was prohibited at Soviet and later Russian Antarctic stations. Alcohol abuse is also a prevalent issue, leading to violence and disciplinary actions. In 2015, alcohol-related incidents accounted for a significant portion of disciplinary actions within the Arctic program. Even at international stations like the Sejong Station in South Korea, drunken altercations have occurred, demonstrating the global nature of the problem. Isolation in Antarctica has been linked to cognitive decline, with studies indicating structural changes in the brain over time. Prolonged stays in Antarctica often result in volume loss in brain regions associated with memory and decision-making, akin to conditions such as Alzheimer's or PTSD. The extreme conditions and isolation in Antarctica create a unique environment that can significantly impact mental health and cognitive function. The challenges of living in Antarctica can push individuals to their limits. In extreme cases, it can lead to drastic actions, such as the burning of the Almirante Brown Station in 1984 by a disgruntled doctor. The original facilities at Brown Station were destroyed in a fire on April 12, 1984, reportedly set by the station's doctor, 
who was ordered to stay for the winter. The station personnel were rescued by the USS Hero and transported to the United States' Palmer Station. Following this incident, Argentina reconstructed the base, but it was downgraded to a summer-only station. Despite the risks, incidents often go unreported or under-investigated due to jurisdictional challenges and a lack of transparency. Instances of harassment and assault have been documented in Antarctic research stations, with reports indicating widespread issues. Despite awareness and efforts to address the problem, many incidents are swept under the rug, leaving victims vulnerable and perpetrators unpunished. The death of Australian astrophysicist Rodney Marks in 2000 at the South Pole raised questions about foul play. Marks died from methanol poisoning, but the circumstances surrounding his death remain unclear. Investigations were hindered by jurisdictional complexities and a lack of cooperation from involved parties, leaving many questions unanswered. Separating fact from fiction, Antarctica, the southernmost and least populated continent on Earth, lies predominantly below the Antarctic Circle and is encircled by the Southern Ocean, also known as the Antarctic Ocean. It boasts the geographical South Pole and ranks as the fifth largest continent, covering an area approximately 40% larger than Europe, totaling 14,200,000 square kilometers. The vast majority of Antarctica is blanketed by the Antarctic Ice Sheet, averaging a thickness of 1.9 kilometers. Known for its extreme conditions, Antarctica averages the coldest, driest, and windiest climate among all continents, with the highest average elevation. It predominantly constitutes a polar desert, experiencing annual precipitation exceeding 200 millimeters along the coast, but significantly less inland. Holding an impressive 70% of the world's freshwater reserves, a thaw could potentially elevate global sea levels by nearly 60 meters. Notably, Antarctica boasts the lowest measured temperature on record, plunging to 89 2 degrees C, while its coastal regions can experience temperatures surpassing 10 degrees C during the summer. Its wildlife includes native species such as mites, nematodes, penguins, seals, and tardigrades, with vegetation primarily limited to lichen or moss. The discovery of Antarctica's ice shelves likely dates back to a Russian expedition in 1820, led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev, followed by further exploration by French, American, and British expeditions. The first confirmed landing occurred in 1895 by a Norwegian team, with subsequent expeditions into the continent's interior in the early 20th century. British explorers achieved the first reach of the magnetic South Pole in 1909, while Norwegian explorers were the first to reach the geographic South Pole in 1911. Governed by approximately 30 nations under the 1959 Antarctic Treaty System, Antarctica is designated a zone prohibiting military activities, mining, nuclear explosions, and nuclear waste disposal. Human engagement primarily revolves around tourism, fishing, and research, with approximately 5,000 individuals residing at research stations during the summer and decreasing to around 1,000 in winter. Despite its remoteness, human activity significantly impacts Antarctica through pollution, ozone depletion, and climate change, particularly concerning the potential instability of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, which poses uncertainties in projecting century-scale sea level rise and affects the Southern Ocean's overturning circulation and Southern Hemisphere climate and productivity. Antarctica, the largest desert on Earth, holds the title of the coldest desert, surpassing even its polar counterpart, the Arctic. Predominantly covered in ice flats, this frozen expanse has recorded temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling minus 89 degrees Celsius. Spanning an area approximately 1.5 times larger than the United States, Antarctica covers 14.2 million square kilometers. But how can both the Sahara and Antarctica be classified as deserts? The answer lies in their shared characteristic of receiving minimal precipitation throughout the year, typically averaging around 25 centimeters or less. Consequently, these environments pose considerable challenges for plant and animal life. However, fossil evidence suggests a different narrative in the past, indicating that both the Sahara and Antarctica were once bustling ecosystems teeming with diverse flora and fauna. With fewer human inhabitants, 
Antarctica has never had an indigenous population, yet it teems with a rich diversity of wildlife, including penguins, leopard seals, and various bird species. The sight of these captivating and adorable penguins, surrounded by thousands of them, was an endless source of fascination for me. Their antics could hold my attention for hours on end without ever growing tiresome. Although permanent human settlements are absent in Antarctica, the region serves as a bustling hub for research scientists from around the globe. These researchers operate from government-supported research stations, representing a multitude of nations. The number of scientists engaged in research activities fluctuates throughout the year, ranging from approximately 1,000 during the winter months to around 5,000 during the summer season. Diverse scientific disciplines converge in Antarctica, viewing it not only as a distinctive environment, but also as a crucial indicator of broader global phenomena. Geographers meticulously map the surface of this remote and frigid continent, while meteorologists delve into the study of climate patterns, including the infamous ozone hole lingering over Antarctica. Climatologists utilize ice cores extracted from Antarctica's pristine ice sheet to trace the Earth's climate history. Marine biologists observe and analyze the behavior of marine mammals such as whales, seals, and squid. Furthermore, astronomers take advantage of Antarctica's secluded interior, offering unparalleled views of the cosmos from Earth's surface. The Antarctic ice sheet spans nearly 14 million square kilometers and holds a staggering 30 million cubic kilometers of ice. This vast ice reservoir accounts for approximately 60% of the world's total freshwater, constituting 90% of the planet's surface fresh water. Its potential to raise global sea levels by 70 meters highlights its monumental significance. In East Antarctica, the ice sheet rests upon a substantial land mass, whereas in West Antarctica, portions of the bed lie more than 2,500 meters below sea level. Even during the summer months, Antarctic temperatures remain below freezing, preventing the thawing of frost and snow crystals that accumulate on the ice sheet's surface. Consequently, these crystals accumulate year after year, gradually compressing under the weight of successive layers. Over time, they transform dense and impermeable glacial ice. The sheer magnitude of Antarctica's ice reserves is staggering. Holding 90% of the world's ice and fresh water, some ice sheets exceed 4 kilometers in thickness, with others dating back more than 40 million years. The potential consequences of melting all the ice in Antarctica are profound, with projections indicating a staggering 65-meter increase in global ocean levels, equivalent to 213 feet. Neither the north nor the south poles of the Earth fall within the confines of an official time zone leading them to be encompassed by all time zones. This anomaly arises from the convergence of longitudinal lines delineating individual time zones at these polar regions. The absence of standard time zones in Antarctica and the Arctic is not problematic since these regions are uninhabited. However, due to the presence of research stations scattered across the poles, Scientists residing within these facilities have the liberty to adopt any time zone of their choosing to regulate their activities. Typically, they opt to adhere to the time zone associated with their place of origin when they are not stationed at the research base. Antarctica stands as the sole continent devoid of a designated time zone. Yet, amidst its icy expanse, time assumes a negligible role. During the summer season, sunlight persists for 24 hours a day, while the winter months witness the opposite scenario. Thanks for watching. Check out another interesting video by clicking on the link appearing on your screen right now. See you on the other side.